Hi there. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, welcome to a little bit of my day. Uh, I'm Catherine. If you're new here, we're working on an old book. I'm, I'm trying to remember now. 1908, 1909. Um, I, uh, off camera, where I added some extra acorn ink, off camera, I sprayed a bit more sealant on here. And now what I'm doing is, and I thought, oh, I should turn on my camera, is I've been gluing on the uh, lace over the, um, over the spine. This is going to be a really soft, floppy spine. Not a completely soft spine, <coughs> pardon me, but uh, but very soft. So what I'm doing here, let's see if I can come down a bit, is I'm going to be, I've done the other side, and I'm going to add glue to wherever there are thick areas that are thick enough that I can add some glue to it. So obviously I can't glue that netting, but I'm making sure that um, I get some more glue down in that crevice. There's just no point trying to glue that netting. Nothing there to for it to grab onto, really, or else the shiny will show through. But this is a good enough amount of uh, area on the lace for me to um, Come on. For me to fit some glue onto it. Let's do the whole thing here. And then we'll meet it halfway, I guess, because now I'm down here. Then I think I'm going to have to pause. I think I have someone who needs to go O U T. All right, so let's come back. At, there we go. I'm just going to pat, let it set a little bit, and then give it a good push down. I'm worried if I push it down right now while it's still very, very wet, that it's just going to all mush right out and we're just going to see a lot of this shiny glue. So I'm just letting that glue just set a little bit and then I'm going to apply some pressure to it. I really love, let's move this up here so we can enjoy it together, shall we? I love how this turned out. I didn't think I was going to be adding color. I thought I was going to be just doing shades of black and beiges, different shades of old paper, because some of this paper is really old. This paper is 1850s, so is that. Uh, so is where it says right here, I don't know if you can see it off camera, it says the Frog Prince. That was from a book of Grimm's Fairy Tales, and it was really old. I think it was 1870s, I think. It was really old, and um, some of these are 1888. Um, 
There's a little Edith Holden right there. Some of them are just uh, vintage dictionaries. A little bit of wrapping paper here. This little Tim Holtz. Um, old little uh, old catalog here and here. This is 1880s book um, called Our Darlings. This is hmm. I forget what book this fussy cut flower is out of. All right, now I'm going to give this a good push down. And I'm making use of feeling where that um, gutter is, the groove for this cover. But it is going to be lovely and floppy and just open up and there's going to be lots of room. I'm looking forward to playing with different sizes of folios in the signatures. I will be doing some full-size folios, um, but I'm really looking forward to having fun with little ones, medium ones, torn ones that sort of thing. I feel like a big book like that gives you more opportunity for that kind of fun. Now I'm going to turn this back over and let the weight hold it down. All right, I am going to pause again and take her OUT. Then when I come back, we're going to... Um, we're going to put the book plate in and uh, maybe even decide on some um, end papers and decide what I'm going to do about uh, the gold here and uh, front and back. So I'm going to pause here and I will be, I'll be right back. Okay. We had success outside, both kinds of success, if you know what I mean. <laughs> the the, uh, the RVers amongst you out there will know that the, the black tank and the gray tank were both emptied. <laughs> that's, what, that's what hubby and I like to call it. <laughs> back from our trailer days. <laughs> I haven't still haven't decided yet about that. Maybe I should get some some brads out and take a look and see what I want to, to do about this or whether I think that's enough to hold it down. See, just seeing that pop up like that tells me that I don't think three and one is going to be enough to hold this down to my liking and I think I'm going to have to um, come on glue I think I'm going to have to use my awl poke some holes And uh, sew along here by hand. It really won't be noticeable. It's just going to mean some extra work, but it's the kind of work that I can do. Um, I can do the prep work here at my desk, and then I could take it downstairs this evening and, you know, watch some shows and just sew it. Uh, with some really strong, um, like crochet floss, uh, something stronger than just thread, just regular thread. Um, I have some, I have some waxed hemp that 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 might work well uh, to go along here. 
I'm going to think about it. In the meantime, um, we are going to take this out and we're going to put this in. This is a gardener's kneeling pad. Uh, I got it a couple years ago at our dollar store and I use it all the time for poking. So I've got to decide. I'm just going to eyeball it. I want it centered under. I'm using this as my as my guide for where I want it centered rather than using the book as my, like this would probably be more centered if I wanted it centered on the cover. I don't. Since this is the focal point, that's where I want it centered. Um, almost like a gallery. You know, when you do put your artwork on, a, on your wall in a gallery, a gallery composition of artwork on the wall. Um, I think that's pretty good. I'm going to get my little so that's three and one and a half, one and three quarter. So that would be halfway. So that would mean that's needs to go over just a touch. Okay, right there. So what I usually do is do the first hole and then stand up, take a look, see if that's what I like. And then I will grab a either a pin or a thumbtack just to hold that so that's four and two it that way. There. There we go. I can't count on my background to be even because I freehanded that. And <laughs> even though I freehanded this, ah, that's what she needed. She's settled now. She's in a little ball. We used to have a little, uh, when, when Hubby and I first got together, I had a dog named Emma and he had a little sweet little dog named Bailey and Bailey always slept like in a little donut and uh, I called it a Bailey ball <laughs> and now whenever Bailey sold me on little dogs I'd always been a big dog person 
and like for example I love when big dogs come up stand beside you and lean just lean right on you at the big dog lean I love that a big dog lean I'm sorry I'm over here looking for this um, but little Bailey one over my heart on that little dogs are also awesome and uh, since then we've had two little dogs we had our little dot and now we've got our little Kirby and even though structurally Kirby seems bigger than dot dot weighed more than Kirby does dot was all muscle boy oh boy because she was half dachshund and uh, boy she was all muscle she was about 14 pounds and our little Bailey our little Bailey oh she must be thinking about me somewhere um, our little Kirby is uh, just a little over 12 pounds even though she structurally is way bigger than Dot was she's taller than Dot longer than dot but she's way skinnier than dot she's got these long lanky legs she's like a little lamb <laughs> she's she's like the black sheep of the family <laughs> there we go so i put it down lower i've mentioned this in a previous episode but in case you didn't see it um it's down a little lower than this simply because I want room for the label let's put a different label in just so you can see but it won't be the one that I use um, this one says all sorts commonplace book but you need room to be able to put your card in and out and if I had it too close to, because this is thick, that's, that's a thicker cardstock, this frame. Um, it could make it really difficult uh, for the new owner if they wanted to switch it out. And this is what I mean by, I'll be putting a new one in. Um, this is just my template that I use. Uh, to uh, they can just fold it over on the other side and handwrite uh, their own title or or else use the use this as a template to print one off their computer because that's that's just printed off my computer so all right now where are the where's the ones that's the right color for this. I think it's you. I think it's you. Um, yeah, that looks nice. So it's all sealed and that's nice. And see what I mean by, um, I wasn't really very happy that those ones all sort of fell, blah, 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 and it was, it was sort of, ah, I didn't expect that much of the um, alcohol ink to fall, to drop out of my bottle. But on the other hand, it's not going to be noticeable um, because the... Um, the book plate is going there and uh, this is an all sorts commonplace book but I've gotten into the habit of calling it experiment number three because it looks like experiment number one and two only in a different shape but uh, wow I'm really really happy with it um, that's really really pretty <laughs> All right, let's flip this over and open up those wings on those brads, shall we? 
So if you are wondering, if you're new here and you're thinking, what did she just do? I used my, my book knife. My son-in-law made it for me. Where did my book knife go now? I put it away now. This was a cheese knife. My son-in-law sharpens knives, so I asked him to sharpen that right down to a razor blade, which he can do and did. And it's got a nice round edge to it, and I just simply took off those little volcanoes that using an awl through a cover creates those paper volcanoes. And uh, that way, It, um, it lays flatter. Um, for underneath the end papers when we put those in. So what I was thinking was. Um, if you recall Mrs. Cratchit's prayer book, I used. Let's flip this over. I used um, large antique brads. These ones, they're huge. These, I don't, I have, have no idea how old these would be, but they're. They're really nice looking. And I used those along um, Mrs. Cratchit's lace to hold it down a little safer. Let's see, I know I've got more. Oh, someone must be home. Hold on. <sighs> Sweetie Pie is home. That's what all the fuss was about. And now I can't remember what I was in the middle of talking about. <laughs> what else is new? Um, trying to decide, yeah, whether to um, whether to use brads along here or whether to uh, hide some sewing along there. I think I'm going to have to decide and then um, and then surprise you. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. So, so it was just short and sweet today, but thank you for joining me. We got uh, some done and uh, you see what I mean? How this is going to be really nice and floppy. That's not very... Um, Normally I would have done like a three layer sp cur slightly curved spine to put in there and instead I just thought no I want this really nice and just floppy and rounded and um, so the new owner can just have a lot of fun. Oh that, uh, that spine's really really pretty. Oh my for glad I didn't give up on this book. What a pleasure. I'm trying to remember whether I have the other sides of these, uh, of this marbled paper like I do for, uh, for with Florence. Um, I'll have to take a look in the, uh, in the basket that I started. Because I'm, that might make up my decision and I'll just put it in over there and make use of it again. Um, we'll see. All right, well, thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great day. Um, I hope wherever you are that you are safe and healthy and that your loved ones are too. And uh, we'll, we'll get together soon. Take care. Bye.